If you have a Squarespace website and you're walking through my pre-launch checklist, welcome back. And if you don't have a copy of the checklist yet, I'll drop a link below in the description so you can grab it. In this video, I'll be showing you how to set the fonts for your website. So if you started with either a free Squarespace template or if you purchased one of my time-saving templates, here's how to change the font. I'm here in my scribe template for authors. I'll drop a link to my template shop below if you want to start out with a time-saving template as you're building your website. But in this video, like I said, I'm going to show you how to change the fonts for your template. And today, as I'm logging into Squarespace, there are a couple of places that you can do this. And I'm going to show you both because as we know, Squarespace likes to change their platform. So I'll click edit here. And then if I click on the paintbrush icon, that's going to get me into site styles. Likewise, if I'm just here under website and I click on styles, that's going to also pop me into site styles. So once I'm here, I can click on themes, fonts, colors, buttons, forms, miscellaneous, lots of stuff in here. But there are two places you can start off with fonts. One is if you want to change the fonts and colors all in one go, you can explore themes here. And you'll see as I click this, it's just going to update it throughout the website. You can see how things are changing, the fonts and the colors. But let's go back. And let's say I only want to change the fonts. I want to keep the colors that came with my template for now. And I only want to focus on the fonts. Now that we're here in the fonts menu, if you click on fonts, there are some recommended font packs here that you can try out by clicking around. But if you don't want to do one of those, you can either hit customize or click this right arrow to the right of fonts. And it'll take you to that option of seeing all the font packs that are already pre-created. And this is pretty nice because it saves you some thinking. So if you don't have any particular things in mind, you can see both the heading fonts and paragraph fonts all in one go. And you can choose either sans serif fonts. You'll notice these are a little plainer. They don't have the little tails that we see on the serif fonts um, or all serif. These are a little more decorative or mixed. So one font is serif and one is sans serif. So we can click around on these. And again, it just propagates throughout your site. So lots of ways that you can do it there. But if you know exactly what fonts you want, you can come in here and select your heading font, your paragraph font, your button font. And then this is really important. I'm going to show you assign styles. So stick around for that because it really affects a lot of things on your website and you can get really granular with how to control it. For headings, let's say I want to change my font family. I can choose browse all fonts and let's say I want something that feels a little softer. So this is pretty bold. Let's try out Josephine Sand. So it's a very different feel. Click on that and you'll notice the weight got set to 100. Typically for our website, we want it to be 400 or more so that it's readable. So I can just choose 400 here, or because it is a heading font, I could go even thicker. And I'm going to go 600 here. For paragraph fonts, it's currently IBM Plex Mono. I'm going to go in and change it. Let's say I want to do a serif font for my body text now. If I keep scrolling, I'm going to get to the selection that says serif, and I can click on these and you'll notice they're a little small, right? So we can fix that. I, I like Kaluna for this. So let's go back and I'm going to click back again. And you can see my headings are now Josephine Sands. My paragraphs are Kaluna, but I can also change the size of all of these. So heading one, heading two, heading three, heading four are all controlled under headings. And then paragraphs. One is the largest paragraph size text you have. Two is the default. So I can actually up this one a little bit and adjust paragraph one and paragraph three as well if I'd like. You also have the option for any of these to adjust line height. So you can see how that's bringing my lines of my paragraph farther apart or closer together. Letter spacing. And I'm going to actually set this to zero. And then text transform. 
We typically don't use this for paragraphs, but I'll show you what it looks like anyway. You could do this for some of the granular changes we're going to make or for the heading text. So you can say uppercase, capitalize, or lowercase, or none, which is really what you should do for paragraph text. All right, we can now set up our buttons. I like to choose my buttons to fit either my header or my paragraph. I'm going to change this to 400. And again, I can come back and make those adjustments to letter spacing, text transform, all of that good stuff. And there are three button styles on Squarespace. So you get to choose each font independently. I'm going to make mine all the same for this purpose. Now you'll notice a couple of things. One, Shop Books still is the font that I had originally. So what is up with that? That is because it is assigned in assigned styles. And some of the Squarespace templates come with things already assigned there. So if you change your fonts, you're going to have to go in here and change things as well. Before I do that, though, let's just go ahead and choose a font that I'm using for miscellaneous. So those are things like blog tags or categories, things like that, that provide a little bit of detail. And I like for those to match either my heading or paragraph. All right, assign styles. This is really important because you can see some of these things are set to custom. Site navigation, that didn't update either. So let's go in here and click custom. The family was IBM Plex Mono. I want that to be Kaluna. And one of the things I am going to keep, though, is that it is set for uppercase. And I'm going to space the letters out a little bit more and add some extra weight so it really stands out here in the top. And then the other thing that was custom is that header button. So if I'll click on that, I can now change that to my button text, which I used Kaluna for. And I can also, for the header button, make that uppercase to match these items in the nav. I can decrease the size of this a little bit so it feels more in line and change my letter spacing to match these guys too and give it a little bit more weight. So now this page looks really different than when we started and we could continue to make changes. So here in Assign Styles, if you scroll down, you can adjust newsletter block settings, quote blocks, form blocks, different blog layout font choices, blog post font choices, portfolios, products. It goes on and on. So if you're seeing something wonky, you can always hop in here to check it. And then when you are done, when you have all of your fonts selected, one of the last things I like to do is just to chase down if I have any additional fonts loaded. So you can see now it's just the two fonts that I'm using that are loaded in the style guide. That is great. I know that there aren't any rogue fonts appearing on my site anymore because only the ones that I've chosen here recently are loaded. And now I can go ahead and hit save and exit. So we have completely updated the fonts for this template. You can see it gives it a very different look. So anytime you start out with a Squarespace template, you can absolutely change the fonts to match the feel of your brand. If you found this helpful, please give the video a thumbs up as it helps other people discover my videos too. Thanks for watching and I wish you all the best with your website. <music>